Every out gay, lesbian, bisexual, or pansexual person has at some point in their lives known what it feels like to be closeted. Every trans person or genderqueer or androgynous individual has known at some point what it is like not to feel like the person they really are. While LGBT organizations are available and provide resources for the community, many of them cannot reach the closeted, questioning, and stealth individuals out there. Youth in low-income environments, for instance, may share access to online resources such as computers with their families. So Googling how to come out could result in Google ads serving them pride advertisements, thus outing them. Trans men and women who are stealth or passing as their binary gender may need support going home to their families, but can't visit a support group meant for those who are in the process of transition. And while LGBT organizations are all over the place, there's little they can do to reach people in Waco, Texas, North Carolina, or Cody, Wyoming, where the culture just doesn't allow for LGBT centers at all. For LGBT individuals who are stealth, closeted, still questioning, or are underserved in their communities, the internet is one of the few places they can get what they need. But even that has become dangerous. With Facebook, real names policy, ad serving platforms, and statistical data being retained, the safest place, it seems, is simply a private email inbox. So we started RescueNet, which stands for Resources Empowering Stealth, closeted, questioning, and under-resourced individuals on the net. Our mission is to bridge the gap between brick-and-mortar LGBT organizations catering to the out community and the invisible community of stealth, closeted, questioning, and under-resourced individuals by creating a safe mode of communication with the invisible community, secure, anonymous, and welcoming community resources, and then working to expand the reach of partner organizations to cater to those online communities. We do so via three major programs. Our weekly digest program, which seeks to provide information, resources, and support to a secure and anonymous email. Our support group program, which will develop strong online support groups for the online community. And our partner outreach program, which will make online environments for our partners safer for the online community to interact with. These programs have had widespread appreciation and support for helping the invisible community of stealth, closeted, questioning, and under-resourced individuals. And these services go a long way to extend the support of the out community to those who are online. But to do it, we need volunteers. For a weekly digest program, we are looking for bloggers, content curators, and people to reach out to LGBT organizations as partner outreach coordinators. For our support group program, we are looking for knowledgeable LGBT experts to develop trainings for facilitators, facilitators willing to do the trainings, and JavaScript coders to develop the program for online use. We are also looking for capable volunteers to help us run events, fundraise, and learn more about the LGBT invisible community via safe, anonymous surveys. To apply, please go to rescue.net slash volunteer. No E. You do not have to be LGBT or even out in order to be a volunteer. All you need is a safe, reliable internet connection and a Facebook profile. If you can't volunteer, no worries. The program only requires an annual budget of $3,600 to operate, so even a small donation of $25 will take us a long way towards helping stealth, closeted, questioning, and underserved communities. A monthly $10 contribution is also available, and Doing a monthly donation could contribute to a permanent online support group for those who cannot access those resources in person. My name is Samantha. And I'm Erin. And together we want to thank you so much for being a part of the new team, contributing, and being a part of this wonderful resource. To learn more about us, volunteer, or partner with us if you're an organization, go to rescue.net. No E. We hope to see your application to volunteer for our weekly digest, our research, our support group, or our partner positions. Please share this video to get the word out about this resource and tell your friends you support the LGBT community. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Toss them in the comments below and tag us at rescue.net. We'll do our best to reply as soon as possible. This video has been sponsored by yours truly at Lair of Abraxas, a proud ally of the LGBTQ community and partner organization to RescueNet. 
Basically, we want to provide a safe place for all the LGBTQ subcultures of the Denver and surrounding areas. Please be sure to stop by and like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Lara